So the final segment, Cody and Reigns are out. No backup. And Reigns calls him a fool. You're not fit for the job to be face of the company because you're an idiot. You think with your heart, not your head. You aligned yourself with Seth Rollins and asked, where was Rollins on Monday when you needed help? And he explains his history with Rollins being in the shield, the dominant two-man group that ran, and that Rollins stabbed me in the back. Cody points out, yeah, I know all about the shield. You guys were undefeated. And who was the first team to beat you? Their last name was Rhodes. And Cody says that Rollins might hate my guts, but I know he hates you even more, Roman. And asks, what about you, Roman? Can Rock? Tr- can you trust the Rock? Who's really in charge, the tribal chief or the final boss? And Ro- Roman responds by calling Cody a politician. You make all these promises, but you never deliver on them. You're a, num- you're a number two. And that's not a bad thing. You're the greatest number two of all time. And he is number one forever. And says, Cody says that, you know, this number two is not who I am. I'm the one. The one that is going to beat you for this title at WrestleMania. And he offers his hand, wishes him good luck at WrestleMania. But Roman backs off, goes to the floor, snaps his fingers. Solo and Jimmy Uso appear. And we think that Co- Cody, my God, did this man convey fear. He thought these guys were just going to like, you know, shoot him. And then we get Jay and Seth Rollins showing up. Cody's not an idiot. And everyone just stands at each other. And then the real, the real balance of power. It's not in the championship. It's not in the numbers game. It's in the production truck because we got a crossfade from Roman's theme. To Cody's theme, and that's how the show ended. Uh, you know, at a time where like this company's big promo segments have all over delivered in many cases, or at the very least, left audiences very satisfied. Like on a Raw, where all three men pictured in this image right here Jay, Cody, Seth they were all in fantastic separate segments all on their own this past Monday. This segment tonight was one of the most underwhelming segments they produced during this entire WrestleMania run. Um, Certainly anything involving Cody, you know, certainly anything involving Roman. Um, But man, I think a big part of that is Roman Reigns. I, I, I feel like this was a segment that to me confirmed that Roman has been very much exposed by the Dwayne Johnson association. Cody, in my opinion, has managed to survive, you know, like whatever promo battles or just even like feud um, that's been taking place with him and, 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 and The Rock. I think Seth Rollins has managed to survive by, you know, being dynamic enough on the microphone that where he feels like his presence is actually felt and, and it's it's enjoyed by the audience. But Roman, this is kind of like his first segment where he's had to kind of stand on his own and deliver story on his own without Dwayne Johnson. And <laughs> you'd figure he'd be able to step out of the shadow, but it feels like he's actually lost a lot just from the association. And I don't know if it's just our perception of him or my perception of him at least, but he now feels like he's, he's an accessory to the star and the star is not around. Um, And I guess like it's making me reconsider my entire perception of Roman Reigns. Was he ever a good promo? You know, like, what do you think, John? Um, I think he's a, I think he's got a lot of like star presence, but I don't know if he's, I don't know. The, the, I, I was left very flat with this segment too. And I didn't pin as much of it on Roman over Cody versus like, maybe it's because I'm recapping these and I'm writing this down at the, and at the end, it's like, I'm going over my notes before we talk. And I was like, what was even said here? Like what even happened in this segment? It was like, so, you're Col- an idiot. No, I'm not. I'm not number two. I'm number one. And this was like 13 minutes of this. So I only I I would put it on Roman for me because we've seen Cody stand on his own. We've seen Cody paired with others. And those segments are electric. Roman here, I thought, um, either didn't have great writing for him or his. I mean, it was both. His writing wasn't great and his delivery was not great. Here's the content of his promo. Okay. Uh, you're stupid for believing in uh, and trusting in Seth Rollins who turned his back on me. You're number two. I'm number one. Snap. 
that was about the extent of like all that was said here. As much as we might like, I don't know, make fun of like diarrhea Dwayne or like little dick syndrome or like, uh, you know, what's one of rocks sort of geniuses, thing? you know, clown emoji. These are at least memorable things that, you know, um, at least show some form of creativity. Roman had his. his, his what did he have? Tell me humor. He called him a number two. I don't even think that was meant to be I know. that Roman instead, like his delivery felt very scripted. Um, it, it felt like, you know, maybe a promo that would have been passable a year ago. But in this feud so far, we're used to much higher, like a much higher level of gameplay that, that he just this was to me his chance to show that he was still like top guy you know the guy who's supposed to main event wrestlemania despite the rock being uh, you know on the night prior and he just did not live up to i think my expectations of what a main eventer should be yeah i'm curious to see how well this segment does because you know the the quarter is going to reflect like the interest level and the hype for this segment i think the actual delivery of it i i thought this was one of the just a very weak just nothing segment for what it's been you know the the two of the key guys for this whole mania buildup that has been pretty strong with the segments that we have been getting continually. These two couldn't have gone 21 minutes on TV. No, no, I I think 13. Or on Twitter. Um, you're right, yes.